Hello everyone. Here in Lynchburg, Virginia. And I'm walking into the Hampton Inn in Lynchburg, Virginia. And here's the lobby. Front desk on the left. It's a average size lobby here, small one. This is the high rise elevator lover. And I'm gonna give you a hotel tour of this Hampton Inn here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Now, I'm gonna start with the outside door. Huh. And go to the end of this hallway. Now you notice they have at most three rooms on the side of the hallway, which is great. I love it when you don't have many first floor hotel rooms. <laughs> I love that a lot. All right, let me just show you. For example, that room. Yeah, I think there's only, yeah, that's a sprinkler room. So there's only two hotel rooms in this hallway. Only a few on this entire floor. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of what this place looks like. How about it? Okay, I'm at the door, which is Currently locked. I hate when my phone says faces and stuff. All right, RFID card here. And you heard the door. That was pretty obvious. And there. Door opens, and we're inside. Now, last time I checked the business center, there was a guy in there booking airline flights. Your standard business center. Hello. Head to your room. Sorry, yeah, just going down. You're good. Yeah, I'm Thank doing you. fine. I'm just walking around. Yep. Have a good day, sir. Hey, you too. A standard business center, which you're going to see soon. There's a lot of mechanical and electrical maintenance rooms in this hallway. Here is the business center. There's a sign. Business center. There's the door. There's a window in. There's the car meter. Hello? Brilliant, alright. Someone might come in here soon. But anyway, alright, this is a quick look at the business center. You got standard computers and stuff in here. Trying to come in? Hey, yeah, you're in the business center. Is that I know, where you're heading? No, I, I know where I am. I know. Okay, perfect. Are you trying to get in there? Yeah, I gotta put a boarding pass on. Uh, do you know how to do mobile? On your iPhone? Yeah, they do, but apparently the airport doesn't have mobile. You, like, you, what do you mean? You mean the airline? What do you mean? Because well, the airport just scans them, right? Yeah, but it said when I try to do mobile like I normally do, it says this is not valid. You need to print it off. Probably because you're flying out of Lynchburg. Yeah. yeah. But but for, if you're connecting, which you probably are flying out yeah. of Lynchburg, uh, you can probably do Do you know how to do it? Yeah. 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 I'm the first one in my family to do it. I had to teach okay. my parents. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot handier, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yep. Have a good day, sir. Thanks. Interesting discussion. But yeah, flying out of Lynchburg, maybe not the best idea. Cheapest connection I found, 380. But if you're not paying for it, if business is paying for you to fly, the more the merrier, right? If you don't have to pay for it, why not? Okay, now I'm gonna show you the pool. Some of you might remember my hotel tour of the Hyatt Place in Roanoke, only 60 miles away from here, from Lynchburg, right? It's loud in here. But similarly, you go through a door past the elevator area to come over to the pool. Now, if you'll notice something interesting, right? You can tell that we're in the kind of a wing of the hotel. Because what's on the right, you have your fire alarm and a sign that's not braille, that's accessible. A door, since it's connected to the fire alarm, probably sets off the said fire alarm. And look what you have on the other side. Another door, same configuration, fire alarm right over here and another non-braille sign. So as you can tell from what I'm trying to say there, the pool is on the end of a wing. Braille sign, problem, this hotel's only a year old. The, braille, the sign is supposed to say pool. It says COOB, C-O-O-B in braille. That means 
several dots have been worn off. One off the L and two off the P have been worn. Those are fine. I'm going to open this door up. The doors are mostly silent. The RFID, I have to hold it on there for a second. And it reads it, and the lock slides open. Now, let's go in. Cover the camera for a minute. Here's the pull. And right there, have a little lip on it. That's actually good to keep people from falling in by accident. Here's your pool area. And there's probably a window to the outside, kind of over there. I'm kind of imagining. Alright, that's the pool. There's your pool area. There's a water fountain. Nice and elevated for people for easy use. Okay. Here's your door out of the pool. I'm getting hot in this jacket. This, this area with the vending machines right there that I just came through is hot as heck. Now, on to something cool. Meeting room. Here are the elevators on the right. Two tissue prep hydraulic five floor system. Right, there have been a lot of people checking in lately. Listen. It's just me. Very quiet. There's not really anyone. There's just the hotel music and me walking through here. Now, right here. I will show you one of the things that's interesting. There's a card reader on this door. Sign says meeting room. Is the door locked? No, it is not. So, since that's the case, let me come in. I'm blind, so the dark doesn't scare me, but for you sighted people, there's some lights. Take a look around this meeting room. It's got chairs. Hmm. There's probably a table somewhere, but chairs galore in here. This is one of their... This isn't your business center. This is, your, this is a meeting room. There's a lot of chairs. It's, I sit down. I mean, this is like something... Take a seat here. Like if you're having a lecture, so this is like if I was be watching a lecture in here and there'd be someone speaking up front, like I'm giving a lecture right now. And I'll show you from like the lecturer's point of view because of the way the seating room, to me it felt like there was a row there and there might be more rows. So it'd be like what a lecturer sees if you're having a meeting with a bunch of people and you're hosting something in here, like a small meeting. It's kind of interesting. And I'll see if I'll cut the lights. Um, that says... Meeting room closet. Who? And it's locked. I'm not going to open it. But I am going to turn the lights off in here. Be courteous. Lights off. I can, I can feel my way through. You won't be able to see much because the lights are off. But I'm going to see if the other door at the other end is also for this meeting room. If so, great. Okay. And yes, that is right. This is the other door from the meeting room. So I'll flip the lights on here. There's a couple of switches there I'm not going to mess with. Now you can see from this point of view. Lights off. Leave the room the way you found it. Exit into the main hotel. It's kind of a nice room. Let me get this door shut. The door seems to be... There we go. The door seems to be stuck. Alright. Now, I think this hotel hallway is a little bit longer. As you can see, water fountain will be coming up on your right. Water fountain over here. Um, bathroom's right there on your left. And one last part to show you before the hotel elevator. And that would be the, and no, not the electrical room. It'd be the fitness center, which is interesting. You can see through the window there, that is a fitness center. I'll show you the card reader if I can. Yeah, we'll not try to line that up. All right, I think I've done a good job of lining it up. Now you can see me swipe into the room here. Kind of hear the door click. And then go in. Ah, it's a fitness center. Now this hotel is about as old as Commons Hall at Liberty University, which is to say, it opened in August of last year. This hotel is pretty new by hotel standards. It's a nice new hotel. It's got the RFIDs. Here's your some of your equipment. I think this is a bike. See, it's got a seat and. If I can feel on it, actually, this might be a bench press. Let me feel, yeah. Uh, this has got to be a press of some kind or something. Yep. It's not a bike. Well, I'll show you something weird. 
You, I'll give you kind of a pan around the room. You can see for yourself what's in here. I cannot see for anyone, including myself. Now, something weird I'd like to point out. How many fitness centers have you been in? I don't, I don't know where the basketball goal is, but look at what you have here. One, two, three, four. Need I continue? Four basketballs. I don't even know what that is under the basketballs. Four basketballs in here. A hotel fitness center has four basketballs in it. Where's the goal? I'd have to ask them if they have a basketball goal in here. Where is the basketball goal? Honestly, there's four basketballs in here. Is that normal? Now, I believe some treadmills might be over here. I don't know exactly where, but of course they're, they're gonna have them. Wait, what's, what's this? Here. All right, that's a machine of some kind. I don't know what these are. I do not know what those are. Actually, yeah, I think I do. These are the, these, are, these are the treadmills. I'm just looking at them from a different angle. But here's the basketball goal in here. Let me just try and get a measure for how big this room actually is. I don't usually spend much time in fitness centers. But those basketballs were giving me an idea. Not one I'm usually familiar with in dealing with fitness centers. Where is the basketball goal? That's what I'd like to know. Right, there's your TV remote. You got a TV in here, of course. Here's your standard equipment. I don't know where the basketball goal is. I'll ask them, I'll ask them if they have one. Actually, I'll do that on camera. If you give me a second, I'll go into the lobby. I'll try not to show people, but I will go and ask them, hey, where's the basketball goal? And do you have one? All right. Well, that's enough for the fitness center. Let's go to the lobby. Huh, that was interesting. I'll hold my phone like this for now on. Uh, get my thumb a rest. Uh, face front, good. You see the... I'll just walk into the lobby, kind of show you more of the lobby. When I came in earlier, there were people checking in. This is more your breakfast area, I think. Your seating area. I think this is more your breakfast area. Coming through here. It's got the music on, of course. Let me cut back to the hotel lobby. And play Mr. Curious and ask them why they have basketballs in their fitness center. That's not a question you get every day at your hotel. <laughs> Can you honestly tell me it is? Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Hi. It's a curious thing. I was, I was in your fitness center. Y'all have four basketballs sitting on a thing by the door. It's um, weights. Those are weights? Mm hmm I swear. It's the weights for, um, hmm. it, I know I've seen a guest use it in the pool before uh, to yeah. work out. Well, they, they feel like basketballs. Mm -hmm. and they might actually be, I don't know. They felt a lot like basketballs to I'm me. Check it out for you. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's the four things on the top of the door. They might be weights, but they feel so much kinda like basketballs. Okay. I swear, that's, it's kind of weird. Check it out for you. Oh, it, uh, it is kind of weird. I'm just wondering. I didn't notice a basketball goal in there. <laughs> I don't think it's one in there. I don't think so either. That would be kind of odd. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. Not for the part we've all been waiting for. So she says there might be weights. Well, they might be. I'm not going to pick one up. But basketball's weird. So here is your TK. Now this is the weird thing, okay? Two fire service switches, I'm pretty sure. Look, there's one switch there. And there's another switch. One of those is fire service one. I don't know what the other switch is. Here's the left elevator. And as you notice, it responds. Look at that. Let's go up to five other elevators here. Door closed. You got your alarm and your phone. Okay. This is help on one side and phone on the other, the phone button. That's pretty interesting, all right? I'll get a cap you while we're going up and potentially an indicator while we're going down. It's a pretty big elevator. It's not that deep, but it's wide, kind of like the Hilton Garden. It's got little nice panels on the sides. Let's go down to one, and I'll get a view from back here of what, hopefully an indicator, you tell me, four, three, yeah, this kind of bounces. 
bounce a little bit. I actually like that. Two. And one. Be right back to the lobby. And I think if no one's waiting, there's your captain. Inspection certificate for you here. Two to five. Close the door. And I'll just walk over to this end and get a view toward the other end. Now, sadly, since we have a fan line here, you cannot hear the hydraulic motor, but on newer elevators, it's harder to hear them anyway. But the fan definitely complicates that issue. I think there's a fan on in both elevators. I'm going to send this one down, get the other one, and take it down. Okay. There it goes. You can listen to the fan. I can hear it sliding down the shaft. That is so weird. These are brand new TKs too, only a year old. In case of emergency, use stairs. Standard, except they didn't just say fire, all right? Yeah, this one's got the fan on too. Shame. Oh, but look at the difference. Now I know why they put one by itself. This one's got a 1R and I can swear to you. Oh, look at this. RFID card reader for 1R. And I'm pretty sure I know where that goes. Laundry, and I don't mean the guest variety because I could not find the guest laundry room. Interesting. Well, I'll send this. There it goes. And Listen. Elevator equipment room is really quiet. And that's it.